Man, I'm so red pilled. I'm literally two thirds red. <laughs> my tailor made my eyes look like I got Down syndrome, though. She gotta step her game up, right? Anyways, I understand you're in high school. You're in that puppy love category, in that puppy love stage, in that puppy love time, right? You have no idea what the real world holds. You haven't even paid one cell phone bill yet. You don't even know how to fill out an application for a job because you've never done it. And you're living under your parents. You haven't paid a single bill. You probably don't even know how to spell the word bill. <laughs> Some of you guys might though. If you're in high school, you have to support the family. Hey, mad respect to your brothers and sisters who are in high school and who are taking care of the family at such an early age. You understand about life a lot quicker and a lot more than most of your other... I'm trying to be PG-13 in this video. Most of your other peers, let's just say that. But once you step into the real world, you'll understand that women do not like you. Not even love, but they don't even like you, let alone love, right? For who you are even in high school they don't even like you for who you are people get this twisted all day long they tell you oh I love your personality no your personality and who you are makes them feel some kind of way so it's not who they're falling in love well well it's not the fact that they're falling in love with you the person you are the actual personnel you are but it's more of She's falling in love with how you're making her feel. Think about that for a second. That feeling could be triggered by money, looks, status, humor, personality, blah, 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 blah. The list just goes on and on and on. We know every single man has to have some sort of thing going on for himself for him to get chicks. So whatever that is going on for yourself, that's what's getting, getting you the chicks, the, the ladies not yourself, who you are at the core. No, I promise you, that's not how it works. And the reason behind that is very simple, it goes back to our evolutionary days when men and women had to fight off other tribes and animals. Women were and still are the weaker sex physically. Oh, I'm gonna trigger off some feminists. Okay, it's okay, you can go suck my left nut, that's fine. But men had to be the protector to save women from outside dangers and her kids. So inevitably, Women had to go with the man who could have saved her and protect her and made her feel some kind of way. Women are survivalists and hypergamists because they look out for the best of the best for their and their own children's protection.